the book we was listening to was called Where Do We Go From Here? That was Martin Luther King's book that I purchased. And when I purchased that book, I said, I want to talk to the family, the La Familia, about some of the things, some of the experiences that Martin Luther King had that we can discuss on the podcast. And we think that it's a race thing, but it's more than race. It's deeper than race. Basically, it's about finances. And people are willing to kill people that look like them for finances. It's not a race thing. It's about power. And everybody wants power over each other. People want power over their own family members. So with that being said, what are you willing to do to obtain power? And are you willing to hurt somebody for it? It's just reading this book. It let me know, man, that you got to be aware of capitalism and communist countries, a capitalist country and a communist country. You need to educate yourself on that, because if you don't educate yourself on that, you don't even know where you're located. You don't know what you're getting yourself involved in. You don't know what you're dealing with. And if you don't know what you're dealing with, you just a subject out here man you just a a person just 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 out here so with that being said i'm gonna play a little excerpt from the book and we're gonna talk about it man of the population cannot buy tensions alone induce 90 percent to change a way of life within the white majority there exists a substantial group who cherish democratic principles above privilege and who have demonstrated a will to fight side by side with the Negro against injustice. Another and more substantial group is composed of those having common needs with the Negro and who will benefit equally with him in the achievement of social progress. There are, in fact, more poor white Americans than there are Negro. Their need for a war on poverty is no less desperate than the Negro's. In the South... They have been deluded by race prejudice and largely remained aloof from common action. Ironically, with this posture, they were fighting not only the Negro, but themselves. Hmm. So, how much do you think they value us if they don't even value themselves over money? Money is the most powerful thing in the world. It gives you the most power. We just seen that me and Lex just talked about the black dudes killing another person that looks like them. When you kill somebody that looks like you, you hate yourself, man. If you're willing to hate yourself, you're just a, a lame to me. But to obtain things, you're willing to hurt yourself. Man, that's crazy to me. But I'm different from other individuals. And we have adopted the lifestyle of the Caucasian individual and inherited their ways. So we're going to do the things that they do to obtain money because we have valued capitalism. Speaking later at a staff retreat of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, King expressed a conviction that had long been a crucial part of what he saw when he paid attention to the nation's poorest people. He said, Something is wrong with the economic system of our nation. Something is wrong with capitalism. Always careful, perhaps too careful, to announce that he was not a Marxist in any sense of the word, King told the staff he believed there must be a better distribution of wealth, and maybe America must move toward a democratic socialism. This seemed a natural direction for someone whose ultimate societal goal was the achievement of a nonviolent, beloved community. There must be a different way to distribute the country's wealth. Capitalism. Let me define it for you. I'm looking at it. <clears throat> an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit. 